Oliver Sarkozy heads Carlisle's Global Financial Services Group and about two years ago raised $1.1 billion to target financial deals. Now, prior to joining Carlisle, Sarkozy was global co-head of the Financial Institutions Group at UBS. He worked on some of the largest mergers in U.S. financial history. He's with us now in the newsroom, going to be discussing the deals, where they are, how the economic climate, and possibly a double dip. We have a long list for you here this morning, Oliver, is going to be affecting the market. Marketplace. Thanks, first of all, for stopping in. We're glad to have you with us. You bought Bank United as a vehicle. We just have to start there. That's probably what people are most interested in, in hearing from you on. It was meant to serve as a vehicle to buy other banks, and we haven't seen a lot of activity. So just out of what's going on, why so quiet? Well, listen, it's uh, interesting that the FDIC, I think, has done a tremendous job in building a market for uh, failed banks and getting other bidders interested. Uh, at the time we bought Bank United as a consortium, uh, there was limited interest in the marketplace for these types of assets. I think in the light of that transaction, the FDIC was able to uh, generate sufficient interest such that notwithstanding the fact that we have synergies and cost savings, we've essentially been priced out of that market. But, but, I mean, as far as Bank United goes, I mean, the CEO was on with us in February and said, yeah, we are interested in making acquisitions, but yet the clock is ticking. Yeah, that's correct. Now, the, um, the deal environment is such that uh, we just haven't been able to make the math work. It doesn't mean we don't have an interest. We'd like to see that franchise grow. Uh, both organically and through acquisition, uh, but we have to, to stick to our math and uh, only only execute when it makes but sense. But has something changed in your strategy? I mean, is that why you're considering going public now with Bank United? Um, no, nothing has changed in the strategy. I think we're executing on the plan. If we'd been able to add to the franchise through acquisition, we'd do it, and we'd still look to do it uh, today. Uh, but we need to make the math work. Right. But going public with Bank United, we're looking at the equity markets, pretty volatile out there. And we looked at the last IPOs that have been filed. It looks like equity investors are a little snobbish about which IPOs they pick. So, you know, why now? Why, why the timing? Well, um, uh, as, as you know, going public is not something that we can discuss or, or talk about. Um, the equity market is very selective at the moment. Uh, and I think rightly so. Um, there is differentiation that needs to take place between these assets. At Bank United, we think we've got a terrific company, a terrific management team, and what has uh, historically proven to be a great market. Uh, we like the investment. Uh, we'd like to see how we can add to it and continue to create value. As this fund with Carlisle is sort of a first of its kind. At Bank United is just one of the investments you have. Is it about 30 percent? I understand you have three banks worth about 30 percent of your 1.1 billion. How much has been uh, deployed? Deployed. So uh, we've deployed just under 40 percent, uh, mostly in the bank space, mostly here in the U.S. Uh, we also recapitalized our Bermudan-based organization called Bank of Butterfield, uh, which is a very strong and uh, good bank that um, uh, we've been uh, pleased with. And we own stakes in uh, Boston uh, Private Bank, which is called Boston Private, and just announced a transaction in Virginia with uh, a bank called Hampton Roads. So if you look at the underlying fundamentals of financials, um, what, what's your investment thesis here? Are you basically saying that, you know, think, things, things are basically looking up for here and you can do all these bolt-on acquisitions to, to, to get the scale you need? Yeah, I would say, listen, we continue to be very cautious. Um, you know, we are, uh, as, a, as a society and as a country, working our way through uh, the crisis, which uh, most now view to uh, have passed but the causes of which are still very much present in, um, in the financial markets.